Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a review on my new uh, Smith & Wesson uh, M4505 pistol. Airsoft spring pistol. I got for $36. Uh, and it came with a sticky target. Really nice sticky target. Um, here's what the stats have on it. Uh, 315 FPS. 26 yards range. 12 BB magazine capacity. Basically everything you'd want to know. It's basically what the thing of the box looks like. Here's where your gun goes, and here's your two magazines, basically. Uh, the magazines are kind of nice. They're not too heavy, but they're not too light. Two little metal bars in them. Whenever you're speed loading them with a speed loader, you have to hold that down. Yes, that's what pushes, uh, that's what locks this so the BBs don't go flying out. I've done that before like five times. So as soon as you get to a point where you need to stop, let it go. Then speed load them. Two magazines come with it. It's a pretty heavy pistol. I really like it. Looks a lot like an M9. Fits my hand perfectly. Uh, here's your uh, button, as you can probably tell. The magazines go in and out really nicely. Here's uh, your safety. See? Whenever it's on safety, you can cock it and pull the trigger, but it doesn't make a noise. Then when you barely push it up like that, it makes a noise. It's not loaded, as you can probably tell. I'll have some shooting uh, videos of it later. Anyway, there's your safety and your uh, your live, I suppose you could say. Uh, it has sights on it. And um, as you can probably tell, yeah, really nice trigger. <coughs> Here's your Smith and Wesson logo. Uh, here's a little detail right here where like the bullets would fly out. Um, uh, overall, this is a pretty nice gun. As you can probably tell. I'm gonna show me, uh, no, never mind. Uh, it's not that hard, but whenever I cock it, I tend to let my hand slide back a little bit, and there's so many things back here. It hurts my hand. So I would recommend getting, uh, fingerless gloves. With this gun. It's very nice. As you can probably tell. See? Push the button, magazine slides out really nice. And they go in very nicely. Very tough magazines. Anyway, that's a bit of a review. And also, as you can see, the registered orange tip. Um, basically, that's a bit of a review. Thanks, guys.